one more guy rocking and rolling. I'll be your builder, skilled at the tasks you ask. And I'll be your sinner, baby, bowing my soul to be sold. But I'm drawing the line there, woman, I'm not taking no more abuse. I'm putting my foot down there, throw the chains away. Chains away, throw the chains away. Locked in your prison, too late for escape. Your walls are closing in. Let's tie the knot while we're hot, while we're hot. But I'm drawing the line there, woman. I'm not taking no more abuse. Putting my foot down there, throw the chains away. Chains away now. Gamble, 
never from the door to door Gamble down in Louisiana Gamble on sugar farm
when I reflect upon my music career, I do feel that I've been able to explore quite a few options with regard to musical styles, musical ideas, and whatnot. I've taken the road less traveled. It's a long-term endeavor, building a career. It takes a long time. It takes a long time to achieve anything. I really kind of have invented my own world. That's what someone told me about it. An author told me one time when we were having a conversation that they were impressed that I was able to build my own world in the way that I had. (laughs) And I had never really thought about any sort of concept like this because it's not really what I was doing. I wasn't trying to build my own world. I wasn't trying to uh, truly separate myself in any way from the outside world, even though much of my time is spent within the recording studio and therefore it is naturally separated from the outside world. I've always been a self-contained artist, so in live performance you need more people. You need other people to play with. Sure, I could do something like Jacob Collier and attempt to play all the instruments at once, but I really need a roadie or two (laughs) in order to pull that off um, because at this point I really don't want to put that sort of strain on my back. I really don't want to be the roadie and carry a drum set and amplifiers and instruments and a synthesizer and perhaps other instruments myself. Whoever is helping Jacob Collier lug his rig around, he certainly owes them a valley of gratitude. I've always been self-contained. If you listen to my early albums, I'm basically the only musician. I hired others when you get to the third and the fourth solo albums, studio albums that I did, session players, because I wanted to hear what the music would sound like if I did so. It wasn't cheap. It was quite expensive, frankly. I hired the engineers, mixing engineers and mastering engineers and engineers, audio engineers themselves. And I assembled the horn sections as well as a contrast to my older albums, which were more lo-fi in nature. Beyond that, I built my own studio. So I've been even more self-contained, whereas I haven't had to use outside facilities as much, mainly because artists nowadays can record within the comforts of their own homes. I've been able to hire musicians and it's been more virtual. It's unlike what was going on before where you had to meet people face to face. I was building a recording studio and a guy was kind of laughing about it saying, you're building a recording studio. (laughs) How is that possible? You know, but it's now the standard. I was an early adopter and it's been a learning process. You know, it's been a learning curve. It hasn't been easy. I'm pretty sure that if you hear a Marcus Singletary recording, it has a certain sound to it. It has a certain sound behind it. It has a certain sound within it. I have a style that I play within, and it translates irregardless of whether or not I'm in the studio or on stage. That takes a long time to develop. That takes a lot of intense work. It actually doesn't take 10,000 hours. It takes 100,000 or more. Today's technology beats out yesterday's. Today's technology far surpasses anything that my influences used on their own albums. Another thing about it is that they weren't self-contained, you know. I do feel that I have gone further than some of my influences because I've been self-contained and I've just had ample amounts of time throughout my life to focus on these fields that I've entered. Even marketing, because as a self-contained artist, the indie artist that I've been, I've had to perform quite a bit of my own marketing. And I was professionally trained regarding that. Therefore, I was able to apply it to my own career. That's something that came in handy when starting my own label, Aviation Records, in the 2000s. So in this pursuit, I have learned quite a bit, and I have applied almost all of it. So one foot in front of the other, and you reach the ultimate destination. And that has been the mantra that I have lived by. It's kind of like a hockey player, someone who uh, puts one foot in front of the other in order to skate to the goal and then shoot that puck past an aggressive defender. You know, life is filled with obstacles. You really don't know what's going to happen in the future. And that's something that I have definitely accepted regarding my personal development. I'm a man, Joe Man, doing all that I can to get by. Playing for dollars to get dives. They can't spot.
mark my eyes with the pennies that they give It's the words they say that hurt me even more So brother, can you spare a dime? Confidence is all that I have to impress you, baby. But no worries, baby. You see, my banjo is worth a lot Spark my eyes with the pennies that they give to me now. It's the words they say that hurt me even more now. So, what do you say, sister? Can you spare the time? Once you check your ego at the door, you begin to realize that what you hear and what you intend to transmit to the audience isn't quite always what the audience hears or perceives. The only way to accept this is to put your ego aside. Your listener doesn't really know you as a person. All they can do is read into your work. Most musicians, irregardless of their level, do not understand this. Because I've been around quite a few musicians on various levels. Many of them have not checked their egos at the door before engaging in the pursuit of music and or the pursuit of a musical community. And the musical community consists of those whom you come into contact with while doing the business of music. I've actually had people say to me, you're going to need me someday. So that's not really checking your ego at the door. That's really just allowing your ego to run wild. And that's not what I've done. There were some students at Northwestern that would say things like, oh, I'm a lot better than Stravinsky. And it's like, I doubt it. (laughs) I've tried to come up with my own signature riffs. Someone actually, after listening to one of my albums, told me, hey, there are a lot of signature riffs on this album. And that really acted as something I could look back on and take pride in. That's what it really is. It's not really an ego boost because I've been doing it for so long. When I was in college and I was 18, 19, 20 years old, 21 years old, i talk about music with some of the people there and I would always tell them, hey, well, you know, check me out when I'm 40 years old because I'll know what I'm doing then. found the verdict first degree they swore I planned her death to be at day they sentenced me to die but they wanted me to live and I know why yes I do so I do lie in prison for the wrongs that I have done and 
And I pray every night for death to come My life will be a burden every day If I could die, my pain might go away Trembling hands, I killed my pardon why Because I loved her more than life My love for her will last a long, long time But I'd rather die than live to That's why I'll do life in prison For the wrongs that I have done And I pray every night for death to come My life will be a burden every day If I could die my pain might go away If I could die My pain might go away for granted but I can see the future shining bright look at those on the morning train by whose rules do they abide don't wait another day lead the way don't wait another day you've got to lead the way someday Get to the top, you can make it if you believe. Keep pushing, never stop. Do what you feel. Don't wait another day. Lead the way. Don't wait another day now. You've got to lead the way. Some things are coming my way. Feel it in the air Nothing can bring me down from feeling so high Yeah, some things are coming my way I can feel it in the air Nothing can bring me down Someday you'll get to the top You can make it if you believe Keep pushing, never stop Do what you feel Don't wait another day Lead the way Don't wait another day Another day, lead the way now. Don't wait another day now. You've got to lead the way, girl. You've got to lead the way now. You've got to lead the way, baby. You've got to lead the way.